Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Allie. I'm a mom who loves DIY, simple living, and making a house into a home on a budget. Today I want to share with you guys my DIY farmhouse entryway table and I'm going to take you along as I decorate it. I'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process that I took to make this table. Well, I basically used scrap wood and it came together in probably an hour and a half, including painting time. So I'm really happy with the way it turned out and it was super simple, definitely a good beginner DIY project. I'm excited to share this with you as I think this is a project that any um, beginner DIYer could complete themselves and your end result is a cute entryway table um, that costs you next to nothing. So let's jump into it. So first I started by cutting my two by fours to size. The sawhorse brackets come with a guide and on the back it shows what length to cut the legs to in order to achieve a certain height. So I used that as a guide. I believe I cut mine to 28 inches. So cut your wood to the desired length first. Second, I took the wood that I cut and the sawhorse brackets and I fit them in there. I just did one piece at a time and then I screwed them into place. Um, I just worked on one two by four at a time. So I stuck the two by four into the correct spot in the bracket and then I put screws in that two by four before moving on to the next two by four. So once you get all the two by four screwed into the sawhorse brackets, you'll wanna make sure everything is secure. I went ahead and set it up like a sawhorse and I noticed that one of them was a little wiggly. So I'm not sure totally what the trick is, but I just went ahead and adjusted a few screws um, on the one two by four that was causing an issue until it sat flush and was sturdy. So if it's wobbly for some reason, just kind of play with it and see what you can do to adjust the wobbly uneven leg. After I did this, I went ahead and cut wood for the top of my table. I wanted it to be kind of a longer table as it was going on like a long entryway wall in our house. So basically I cut the top boards to the desired length in order to complete my table. And I took screws and attached the top of the table to the sawhorses and um, that was it in terms of the structure. Um, and then I did go ahead and paint it with chalk paint and I will link my favorite chalk paint below, the one that I use for everything. It covered super fast. I did kind of one and a half coats, which is usually what I do with chalk paint. So basically I do a full coat to begin and it covers pretty well. So then I just need to go over it with a little bit of touch up. So. I had it all done and all painted in probably two hours and dry, ready to decorate. All in all, I used scrap wood that I already had and I bought the sawhorse brackets. I think I spent about $25 total on the sawhorse bracket. So really, this project was done under $30 and I'm super happy with how it turned out. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell notification below. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you try this at home. It was a super easy, beginner-friendly project and I love the way that it turned out. I was inspired by a table that I found just like this a while back, but as I started looking around thinking, oh, I'll just buy one, um, we were talking like three, four, five hundred dollars for a table and I just, I knew it was going to be cheap, I knew it wasn't going to be real wood and so I just got really hesitant to do that. So I decided to try to make it myself and it was so easy so I'm so glad that I did that. Thanks so much for watching, we'll see you guys next week. Mm -hmm.